are! Welcome to another subscription box unboxing! I hope you love them, because they're gonna keep coming. Today's box is the Eureka Crate from KiwiCo, uh, who basically focus on STEM education, engineering, manufacturing, building things, um, which I love doing, as I'm maybe clear, but if not, it's about to become clear. I've been getting this box for six months now, um, so I've already had five of the boxes come. I've really enjoyed just kind of sitting and making them in my spare time, and they're great, they're really good fun. Some of them were a bit hit and miss. They're really cool, so I thought I'd start sharing them with you guys. Now, they're not mystery boxes, as I think you might be able to see on the side of the box. Nope, it's on my side. They do tell you what's in them when you receive them. I think you also get told before you get them what is in them. This one is making a lot of noise as well, which is alarming. But I wanna just show you what I've had in past boxes. They're really great, the company's awesome um, because they have a variety of boxes for different ages, for different focuses. So there's a maker box, which is more about making things, like there was a hanging basket for a plant pot, or like a crochet pillow thing, that's in the maker box. There's also STEM boxes for young kids, so it's easier for them to do. There's the Eureka box, which is like, I guess, I, I think it's their kind of staple box. Um, because it's STEM for all ages, so you get to build some really cool things. So, what have I had in past boxes? Well, I'm glad you asked in past boxes we've built. A ukulele, a lock box, a pinball machine, a printing press, and a ping pong firing robot. Today's box, as I showed you, is a two-in-one lantern, which I think is just like a handheld torch that can stand or sit. I don't quite know. We'll find out when we open the box because it has a manual in here and a lot of parts. But before we get into it, I'm going to have to invite you down to the floor. So we've got space to build. That's right, it's fine. Come on, it's safe down here. It's all good, you can come too. All right, so let's get a have, let's get a have. Let's take a look inside the box. So I can kind of show you how they come as well. Um, it's all very clever. It's all very, very cleverly put together. Someone's clearly thought about it, but Da, 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 da. Here we go. So this is what we're building. This is our handy dandy helpful guide of how to build our two-in-one lantern. So like I said, oh no, I got it wrong. So it's like a torch as well as a standy lantern. I'm not making any sense, am I? But I will when it's built. You'll see what I mean. This is so, this basically gives you step by steps. It's really visual, which is great for me because I'm a very visual person. So it gives you proper step-by-step -step guide uh, of how to build it. Also, within the book, as you go, there's kind of like fun facts and things, and it kind of explains to you the mechanics so you can learn whilst you build, which is awesome, and I love it. Also, whenever battery-powered things come, they come with batteries, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about needing batteries. The only thing I will say is the ping pong machine I showed you earlier that came with cable ties and I managed to mess part of that up which was really annoying because it only came with enough cable ties to do the project once. Funny, funny that, you've only got stuff to do at once. But because I've made the mistake and I had to cut the cable ties off, I then couldn't reuse the cable ties. So to KiwiCo, I either suggest reusable cable ties, the ones that you can undo, or just throw a ton of those things in there. The ping pong machine robot that we got last time, that was the most recent box I got, that came with a ton of extra cable ties, which was super helpful because if I did mess up, I still had plenty. For the ping pong machine, I had to go to a local B&Q and buy the cable ties I needed because I didn't have any to replace them with. Um, so just, just a little thought for me, but also triple read the instructions before you use the cable ties. Don't do an Alice. Everything else then that you get comes in like little bags. They're kind of sorted by wood products. Uh, plastic cone cone thing. Oh, this is new. This is such a clever idea of doing this. I'm so glad I showed you this box. Look at that. All of my bolts and nuts and tools and things are all in here. That's great. This is the first time I've had one of these. Normally they're just in little baggies, but this is an excellent idea. Good job, Kiwi Co. I'm loving it. Um, but what I'll do is basically just get everything out of the box uh, and then kind of start building. This is telling me how to use my battery pack, which, remember, this is built for like five to f 85 year olds or 95 year olds, right? This is this has got a big range of age. This has got a big age bracket of who tends to buy these or who these are for. I think they can also be slightly more angled towards kids kind of getting them intrigued and interested in STEM stuff and mechanics and engineering and building. Um, I mean, I'd have loved to get this as a kid, but there's things like this that for me, I'm like, okay, 
thank you. But just keep in mind that it's a big age bracket that takes on these boxes, so they have to kind of think of anyone who's going to be using them. So it's good that those things are in there, basically. So now what we're going to do is get building. And for you, that's going to be a lovely time lapse. I'm going to try and give you a couple of angles. We've got camera number two, Dad, here, which actually we're doing a test because it's had some problems with it. So hopefully you actually see some angles from this because the camera works. These work, Mr. Cannon. We like you a lot. You're a good camera. But yeah, I'm just going to start building now, bring you along in a time-lapse fashion, and uh, hopefully we'll have a two-in-one landing by the end of it.
So here we are. Here is the two in one ah, lantern torch thing. <laughs> it is finished. I have a couple of comments about this one actually. Um, firstly, uh, the, the, the way around the top should go was a little unclear. Luckily, it's very easy to just spin this top section. Um, but the, the basically, there had to be a little hole and a big hole here, and then the big, the other big hole was here. I thought the numbers had to align. It's very possible. I just didn't read the thingy clear enough. And that's why I made the mistake I did. But this is really cool. So to get it from lantern mode, which is this mode, basically you pull this little pin out here. Uh, then you do a little a spinity dance with the handles like so. And then replace the pin down here like that. And now it's in torch mode. And now you can do the torch stuff. I think it's really cool. It's a really neat idea. And I like the kind of wiring you have to do at the start before you then go to build the rest of the thing. The only other comment I will have for it is that I can't get to the battery pack now. When I made the ping pong robot, which is the other one I had to do a little bit of wiring for, you can get to the battery pack. So when the batteries run out, you can in fact replace them. But I don't know how I would replace these batteries um, because they're in the bottom here. And the only way to get there is to kind of break the whole thing apart. So I'm kind of a little bit meh about that part of the design, but overall this, this is pretty cool. Open the base by removing the rubber band and new slats. I suppose I can get to it, it's just not as easy to get to as the other battery packs, but you know, they, they are only stuck on with a little bit of foam and the rubber bands then do hold them in place securely to keep that shape. So you just have to take a couple of these panels off the bottom and uh, and then you can get to the battery pack. Basically, I would use some of my best friends, the tiny squares to put on the base here. And then the red would just, the red filter would just stick over the front like that. And then, and then you got a red light. That is it for today for the Eureka crate. I don't know what comes next. I tend to find out kind of as the boxes come, what they are because they say on the side. Um, though I did get an email about this one before this one showed up. So I didn't know what this one was gonna be before I came. Like I said, I think they're great fun. I probably spent about an hour putting this one together. The robot was much faster. Some of them have been quicker. Some of them have taken a bit more time. Uh, this was one of those that took a little bit more time, but about an hour's worth of build time. You do need to make sure you got enough space. Uh, so that's why I went to the floor to do this. Um, I think they're 29 pounds, 30 pounds a month. They come once a month, uh, in case I didn't say that earlier. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's really fun to build these. The only problem is I've got a lot of stuff now that doesn't really have anywhere to go and I'm, I'm running out of space for my stuff. Uh, so that is a bit of an issue, but they are really cool. This one's awesome. I really, really like this one. Oh, well, it turns out you can go into lantern mode while the handle is there. Good to know. I will leave a description to all the good stuff to them on social media, to their website, on where you can get the box. There'll also be on their website a list of all the different boxes. As I said, this is not the only box they do. There's about five or six different boxes I think they do. Um, so I will leave all that good stuff down in the description box below for you to check out if you too are interested in getting your hands on a beer shaped flashlight lantern thing. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some crafting love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video! Spooky! <laughs>